afternoon. I hope you're having a good Monday so far. It is Monday today. I am having a pretty good day today because Adam has the day off work. He had quite a few holidays to get in um, before Christmas, so he's booked a couple of Mondays off. He was supposed to be at the dentist today, but his dentist rang up and said, the secretary rang up, the dentist is ill, so they've had to cancel his appointment. And he's pretty happy about that because he was supposed to have eight fillings and a root canal. I think he's only ever had like one filling before in his life. So for him to have eight fillings and a root canal, it's a pretty big deal, but for me, <laughs> me, I have that every week. <laughs> I have had plenty of root canals. So this morning we dropped the kids off at school and went into Bury. I had some clothes to take back to Primark and H&M. Bought a few things at Primark. I usually bring them home to try them on. I get way too warm in changing rooms. So the stuff I brought back, um, one thing I picked the wrong size up and it was too big and two things were too small. And sure, this does not only happen to me. Do you ever buy something and you actually like it, but maybe it's too big. So you think, I'll go and get it in a smaller size. So you go back to the shop to swap the item that you've bought for a smaller size because you still like it, but they never have your size or they don't even have the product in, shop, in the shop. Every time. So I went and took back two skirts and a skirt and two dresses to Primark and come home with none of them. <laughs> because I couldn't swap them for the other size because they didn't have them in. So I come on with all these new clothes and then they all go back again. I don't get to swap them so I end up with no clothes. It is so frustrating. So then we went to home base. We had a quick look around home base because we wanted to look at some tiles for the new bathroom. They also didn't have the tiles that I went looking for. I saw some really nice ones um, online. I think they're by Laura Ashley. I'm not really one for designer stuff but they were nice tiles. So we went to have a look to see what they would look like in person but they didn't have those towels in that shop. So then we went to Home Bargains, as usual, and we just bought all the gift bags and some wrapping paper, because I think I'll be wrapping this week. So that's what we've done today. I did actually bring the camera, and I didn't vlog any of it, because a lot of the shops all had music in. So I was gonna talk to you in Home Base, but Home had Christmas music blasting out, and I would have probably got copyrighted off YouTube, so I just thought, oh, I'll just update you when I get home. It's 10 past three, so Adam's gone to collect Abby from school. I'm still in my coat because it's really cold. No, it's cold when I ain't got my robe on because the coat is the next step up. It's cold if I've got my robe on and it's freezing if I've got my coat on in the house. I am also down to my last order this week. That is insanely exciting. So I've got one customer order to do before I'm actually off for Christmas. It doesn't mean to say I stopped working. I've still got all my emails and drawings and I've got tutorials to do and tutorials to shoot. But in terms of actual orders, my last order is this week. Um, Last week, what did I make last week? Honestly, my memory should not be this bad. Oh, I did a two tier. Um, the top tier was Zelda. Um, I'll put it on screen, but I've actually got a tutorial for that Zelda sort of stained glass effect, which is already a tutorial. The bottom tier was Star Wars, um, and I've got a Galaxy airbrushing tier tutorial. That is either up now or it will be up. <laughs> this week or next week and the other cake was a static caravan so that was um a birthday cake for her mum it was a copy of the static caravan they own and they were sat on the grass with a little picnic blanket and their dog so yeah that was those two and the one i'm making this week is a diamond anniversary cake so it's literally caking just in the shape of a diamond like part 2D, part 3D on the board. And once I've done that, that's my orders finished. Um, I came home and there's a parcel waiting for me from Matalan. Um, Matalan had, I think it was 20% or 25% off their coats and I really need a new coat. I've had this one for several years and Adam ripped all, uh, ripped the fur <laughs> off my hood. <laughs> Completely just ripped it straight off. Plus it's all got threads hanging out and it's got holes in the sleeve so I really do need a new one. And because I think you only got free delivery if you spent over £50, so I may have added something else to my basket just to get free delivery, <laughs> which I might have to return. But we'll see. I'll try. I got some shoes. I got some boots to try, and I did order something else, and I don't know what it is. But open up the parcel and see what this coat looks like. I ordered a mustard coat. This pretty much looks orange. It's definitely not the mustard I thought it would be. Definitely got orange vibes. It's like the inside of a Jaffa cake. This on the tag should have been £45 and then online with the sale code thing it was £33. Um, to be honest, 
not really loving it. Thought it would be more yellowy, but I'm going to try it on and see if it fits anyway, so at least I know. If I like the fit of the coat, I can just try and get it in a different colour. I do have to say the inside's nice though, that's all fleecy. That's like a waterproof quilting. The zip feels really nice, the zip and the poppers, but it's not actually like waterproof. You can tell it's that stuff that gets soaked on the outside and then it takes absolute days to dry. But the actual quality of it is really nice and the hood is nice and soft. So this is what the coat looks like on. Again, not sure on the colour. It is, it's a size 12. It's got quite a lot of room in there, especially if you've got like a cardigan on or underneath or a jumper. But I don't know, I'm not 100%. Like you've got little toggles here to pull it in, but it seems to, I've got really sticky out bits there where they shouldn't stick out as much. The rest of it fits all right. The arms are fine. It's got a big hood on it. <laughs> this is how I like my hoods. So I'm so anti-social, I don't speak to anybody. I love it when it's raining and you can put your hood down. And then you don't have to stop and speak to people. <laughs> I'm so antisocial, it's unreal. Pockets are good. You've got popper pockets on. I think maybe a size smaller to stop this bit from sticking out so much. Just another return. So I've got a pair of these. Just plain nice little boots. I don't have many boots with a small heel. I think I only own, uh, yeah, one pair. <laughs> one pair with a tiny heel, but they're brown. So I thought these might be good for the winter. I really struggle, um, I struggle with shoes a lot. With my feet only being size three, so I might have tiny little, what Adam calls pixie feet because they're so small. But pixie, pixie's feet are nice, small and dainty. Mine are more like hobbit feet. <laughs> so they're only short in size, in size three, but they're really wide. <laughs> so I actually struggle finding boots that are shoes that are, aren't too tight around here so but Matalans are quite good I've had a, a few pair from Matalans and they seem to be good so these are £24 and at the time of buying there was no codes or sales for these like I said I added stuff to my basket <laughs> to get the free delivery and uh, if they were any good I'll keep them and that's just a bonus yep I think these might be wide enough I tried um, a pair on today in Select, which were almost identical, except the zip had a ring on it. They were nice and they were £20, um, but they were too tight across here. My feet still fill it. I can feel like my feet are there on either side, but they're not as tight. Even though it's got a zip detail on that side, you actually open it with a zip on the other side. And the other thing I bought, which I completely forgot about, <laughs> is a bag. This was in the sale. This should have been £12. And it was half price at six. I'm looking for an over the shoulder body, like a cross body bag. No, it's got a button on it. Oh, that's no good. Probably gonna think I'm really, really particular now, but I do not buy a lot of clothes really. So when I get them, they have to be right. <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna have them forever until they wear out. So I've got a bag from Primark and I love it. It's a Harry Potter bag. But I've used it that much that my um, the handle bit has started to come off. So this is starting to actually come off. But one thing that really, really annoys me about the bag, and I said I would never get another one like that again, is it has two of these poppers. So it has one here and one here. When the bag is like halfway here down your leg and you're trying to shut the poppers because you've got your purse and your phone in your bag, and the poppers will not line up and it's flapping around and you kneel down and everything drops out. It is super annoying. So I said I am not getting another bag with poppers. And lo and behold, it has a popper. No! So my six pound bargain bag also has to go back now. Gutted. I'm gonna have to find one with either a zip at the top, but I know there's a few where they have a flap like this and it just magnetically shuts it doesn't have to go into a popper it's just got like magnets and it just automatically closes so yeah i know i sound really particular but trust me when my coats last about five years <laughs> and i don't buy a new one until it's on death's door but i don't buy them very often i have to make sure it's 100 percent what i want unfortunately the bag's gonna have to go back the coat's gonna have to go back and i'll keep walking around in these boots but i'm, sh I'm pretty sure these are actually all right I thought I'd have a quick look to see what I actually ordered. <laughs> see what the colour lo look like online and they do actually do an orange version. So this is the orange coat. I don't think mine is quite as dark as this though. But then if you go down there is the mustard option which is the one I ordered. 
which I think is more yellow. Mine's kind of in between the orange and yellow. So we're going to knit back to Matalan and take that back, I think. That is how long it took me yesterday to edit the Harry Potter tutorial. I started at nine o'clock in the morning. I only broke off to stick some chips in the oven for my dinner and to go and get Abby. And I was a little bit late uploading the tutorial. I usually try to get them up for five o'clock on Tuesdays, but I think it was about six o'clock instead. So the, any tutorial that's like 17 to 20 minutes long, which I class as a long tutorial, they can take a good eight hours to edit. So I didn't get my cake baked until later on at night, probably about half seven by the time we finished tea. And then I started doing some of my emails. I'm constantly falling behind on and then I went to bed and I got upstairs and completely forgotten about the cakes. I was in my pyjamas and I was just like oh my god the cakes are in the kitchen so I had to come back down and wrap them up so I will be filling and ganashing and carving that one today but another job I need to get done is the little cherry Christmas party. We have one every year, it's just usually me, Adam and the kids um, and we choose a day roughly about round about the 16th, 17th for December depending on what day of the week that lands on. Um, last year was a good one, we went to the Arcade Club in Bury so it's a big building with two floors and every single arcade machine you can imagine. All retro ones as well, I must have been sat on Bubble Bobble for a good hour. <laughs> Adam and Kai were on like the racing bikes, Abby were on the Simpsons, so we spent a lot of time in there and then we went bowling, we had something to eat at Pete's Express and we went to the cinema to watch a Christmas film, I think it was called The Star, it was the one about the donkey, wasn't bad actually. So this year I'm a bit behind in sorting it out, I'm not sure what we're going to do but we do have a voucher that I bought ages and ages ago so sometimes if you go on the radio stations like your local radio station or especially if you put in planet radio and go on the website they have loads of offers on for different places sometimes it's flamingo land sometimes it's blackpool pleasure beach and I actually picked up a half price family voucher for blackpool zoo and it was actually valid for an entire year but we haven't used it yet it runs out on the end of december so we really need to use it so I think we might this year use that voucher because it's not going to cost us anything. That'll take up most of the morning and the afternoon because it, it shuts about 10 to 4 because it's winter. And then head into Blackpool, get something to eat, loads of arcades and stuff to keep us busy and then probably finish off with the cinema because Wreck-It Ralph 2 is on and we haven't seen it yet. I mean this is the worst confession ever. Massive film fan, absolutely adore the cinema and we've been to the cinema once once in 2018. If that doesn't give you an indication of how busy we are, <laughs> nothing will. So yeah, we don't get to go to the cinema a lot, so hopefully we'll make it this weekend and then it will be two trips in 2018. I can't remember if I mentioned that Adam's on early this week, which means he gets home roughly about half past three or sometimes quarter to four by the time he's picked the kids up from school. So whilst he's home early, we're going to go to Towel Giant. Place your bets. Is Towel Giant going to have my towels? Towel Giant did not have my towels. My cake is finished. I was going to show you earlier, um, but Kai got in from school and said he needed his secret Santa present for tomorrow. And Adam got in from work and he said he needed his secret Santa for tomorrow. None of them organised. So we had a Mad Dash 2 home bargains and we picked up everything we needed. We also knit to Windsor's because Abby came home with the whole sole has fallen off her shoe at the back. Luckily, the company that Adam works for is associated with Windsor's and he's got um, a member card so we can get money off. So her shoes only cost us about six pounds something. So she's sorted and then this is the stuff we got from Home Bargains. So this is the stuff we picked up for ourselves. These biscuits were only 89p for this giant packet. I'm a sucker for these with a the chocolate in the middle. Adam also picked these up because he likes these. If you watch my chocolate overload tutorial, these are the biscuits I used in that. We also picked up this little tiny jam set we've got as part of a, a Christmas present. They're actually like beer flavoured, so this one's like origin whiskey marmalade. 
you've got black currant and rum, lemon and gin, ginger and amaretto, so that's quite a good gift idea. These were $2.99 for that pack. These I've not seen before, they're um, like car air fresheners. They're like little tins where you take the lids off. Now I had one of these in my car, it wasn't this brand, but I had one of these tins in the car and it lasted months and it was really strong and it smelt really nice. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, I'll try these. These were 99p, so we picked three up. So one for each car and then one to put in the cupboard spare. But they actually fit, usually fit in your cup holders. This one is Adam's Secret Santa. So we got the gift bag for it. That was 49p. Now this should have been 4 99 for the set. So it's a set of like um, body wash hand wash, things like that. Set of four in this nice little tin. But this had been reduced to 2 99 so we picked that up. The person who he's buying for, she's got a dog. So we got this little rope toy so she can play with the dog. That was 2 99 No, it was 1 99 that one. Now they also, they were also selling chocolates from Thornton. So these are chocolate and caramel wafer rolls. These were 1 99 And then we've got a striped candle. I think it's candy floss. Yeah, so it's candy floss scented and that was 2 99 So that was £10 altogether because that's what their limit was. And then Kai's limit was three pound. These were 1.99, this little jelly bean house, the strawberry, apple, blueberry, and orange. And they come in each little window. So yeah, that was his limit met. finished diamond anniversary cake. It was actually a bit harder than I thought. <laughs> you know me, I'm a round cake person. So when you give me geometric shapes with straight edges, <laughs> it doesn't take much to confuse me. So the tallest part is in the centre and then it slopes off to either side and it slopes down and it slopes off at these edges as well. So it took a little bit getting used to when I was carving it, but I did film it for a tutorial. So it might come in handy if you've got a diamond anniversary cake, or maybe a birthday cake for a girl who likes her diamonds. <laughs> and with this being my last order, I have a nice day to edit tutorials today, see if I can get up to speed with the next couple of weeks of tutorials. Morning, we're back in Bury again today. Still need to pick up some bits for Christmas. We need to get lots of scratch cards. We put scratch cards in the crackers so when you open the cracker instead of getting a naff little it's usually a pair of nail clippers and um, a party hat and a joke you also get a scratch card um i think my dad won the most on scratch cards last year <laughs> i think he won about 15 pound or something on a scratch card we've got all them to pick up we've still got some little bits um to pick up like food and little bits for the gift bags for people what's going on here it's reversing again it's pretty it's a pretty big car that um, I didn't vlog much yesterday, I was just doing lots of little bitty jobs that needed doing. Mind that person. <laughs> Don't run over the lady. <laughs>
wrapping done tonight. This is all uh, for nieces and nephews and nan and granddad. We've got six nieces and nephews all together. So these are all ready in their bags. We've still got a few more bits to buy. So we were out shopping all day till about half five. We found a Rollers in Bury. The first time we went to Rollers was in Manchester. It was probably about, probably a good, what, nine year ago? We found a Rollers in Manchester and they serve pizza and cinnamon rolls and they do lots of deals. So you make your pizza like you do at Subway. So you choose like your base and your sauce and what toppings you want. And then when we went to Manchester on, was it last week? Mm -hmm. When we went to Manchester last week, we headed to go to Rollers and it had shut, it had disappeared from the Irondale Centre. So we ended up going to the food court and we had some noodles and only then did we walk around the rest of the Irondale and we found Rollers. It had just moved and I was proper gutted. And then we went to Bury on Monday. We'd already eaten at a cafe and found they'd just opened a Rollers in Bury, so that's where we went today. I was very happy with my pizza, my cinnamon roll. Finally found a bag, so Adam's bought me a bag for Christmas. So we find this in Primark. It's one of the new Disney bags. It's got like little Mickey head stars and mini balls on. It was £14 and it's a crossbody bag, but this one shuts with like a little push button. So this one should be easier to shut. And there's the handle inside. It's not too big, but I should be able to fit all my purse, my camera, my phone inside. Am I allowed to use this tomorrow? If you want. So we've got our Christmas party in the morning. I need to wash my hair over the sink <laughs> again. It absolutely chucked it down today. So I'm not sure if it's gonna rain all day tomorrow. So we might get washed out. If... <coughs> Just put another 20p in. <laughs> we'll be able to get through one of these one day. <laughs> Don't we what? Donkey, what was it called? What mm. oh, donkey? Don <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say dog. I said a dog game. Doggy do. That's it. We had um, one of the kids, um, Doggy do. That you'll have seen the game where it's like this dog. And the very first time we had it out, you have to shove, like you have to knead some play doh stuff, and then do you shove it in its mouth? Mm -hmm. You shove it in its mouth, so you feed it, and then it. Then it comes with a lead that you have to press and pump. And the pump sends the play doh down the dog until it poos at the other end. But we were playing it for ages where we were kept pressing the lead and nothing were happening. And then the lead, like, as you were pressing it, it started getting really hard to press. And then it was somebody's go and we were pressing it. It's like, it's, it's never going to poo. This dog is never going to poo. And then, and then all of a sudden, as we were pressing it, we were making this really funny noise. And then, and then all of a sudden it just shot out of its backside at lightning speed across the room. We were... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I don't think it was supposed to do that. I think it was just supposed to drop out, but we'd pressed it that many times and put that much air in it. It shot it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if we get rained off tomorrow and I don't get to film much, there might not be a lot of footage. If there isn't, I'll pop it after this clip. If this clip ends, then there'll be enough footage to make its own video. We will say bye now. If there's a clip, we obviously got rained off. <laughs> say bye. Bye. <laughs>